Every Korean kid instinctively knows what to do when there's just a little layer of tenjang, which is that soybean stew that's left over. You put on the fire, you crack an egg onto a side frying pan, scramble that up, then you get a cup of steamed rice, you throw it into the pot with a little layer of tenjang, you mix that up, then you get the scrambled eggs, you throw that in, you mix it up, and then you get a little piece of kimchi on top and it's the best breakfast. I've made that meal for myself so many times when I was young, like in junior high, like I can mentally see myself in the third person and making it now. So I was surprised to see another variation of it on TV. This one was by Chef Baek Jung Won. We do a lot of his recipes, but he was throwing spinach into it. And I was a little bit jealous because uh, when I was in junior high, I didn't think to add those greens and uh, it just looked very nice, a little bit more elegant. So I wanna teach you the more elegant version and uh, if you're a student at home, get on the train. For today, take it easy. This is going to be very simple. Put in a tablespoon of vegetable oil. I want you to add a tablespoon of sesame oil, toasted sesame oil. This one is going to be a key for flavoring. Put this on a medium heat. By the way, if your parents catch a cold, this would be like a great thing to make for them. I think they would really appreciate it. Now I have some ground beef. You can use some ground pork or just go with some shiitake mushrooms, just minced up. Three large spoonfuls worth. Mix that around. And then we're gonna add in one full cup of cooked Korean rice or that sushi rice, works best for kanji. It has a lot of starch and will reduce our soup once we add liquid. And with the same cup, we're gonna add four cups of water. All right, first cup in and then four, that's good. Simple enough, right? So now this is gonna be pretty bland. We haven't seasoned it with anything. And we're gonna add in our tenjang here. This is that soybean paste. I would recommend going to Gochujar and trying out some of the artisanal brands from Korea. So we're gonna drop in two tablespoons here, in, and then we're gonna do about one tablespoon of minced garlic. That comes out to about three cloves of garlic. Just give it a gentle stir, and you should be able to break up that tenjang paste. We're gonna wait till this reduces, but in the meanwhile, do half an onion. Do we wanna turn into little bite-sized pieces? Then a medium-sized potato about the size of your palm. We'll cut this into thin sections first, then cut them into matchsticks, and then finally just chop them up. Yeah. If I add the onions and the potatoes together, it comes to about one cup in total. Let's throw it into the cesspool. Nice. And then we'll reduce this to a medium heat and we'll let this reduce down until you can start seeing the rice. All right guys, and as that reduces, we have our key ingredient, our spinach. Make sure to give this a good wash because spinach, they dirty. At their roots level, they dirty. So make sure you wash them because they dirty. How much are we gonna use? Two big fistful or however much spinach you can grab with two hands. The spinach, no need to be fancy. Just give this a chop, all right, and then another chop, and then maybe another chop. Two or three form-sized pieces of spring onion. All right, and you can never really have too much spring onion. Always tastes good. And now if we check back on the porridge, look at this. This looks miserable, <laughs> but don't judge it just yet. We're gonna add in some color now. You see, it looks like porridge. It's a good texture now. Add that in. Just fold it in and you're gonna see all of this wilt down. Beautiful. We'll just add in our spring onions as well. By the way, if you reduced it here and it got too thick, don't worry, just add a little bit of water and you're good. All right, this is fail proof. Give it one more minute on the heat and then it'll cook the rest in the residual heat. And there it is. Some deeply satisfying spinach tenjang chuk. Wow, this is just perfect. Mm. One definition is just soothing. Pour it out into a plate and you got something like this. Just beautiful. There's this perfect banchan. It's so simple, but I think to pair the two together, it would work very nice. Get some bacon. You know, it's salty and I have the perfect way to throw in some vegetables in the morning. Five slices. One, two, three, four, five. No, you're not gonna have five slices. My gosh, come on now. This is gonna be a banchan that's gonna produce around two or three servings. So share, just cut them into bite-sized pieces. We really wanna use bacon because it's salty. Don't use ham. This is actually six slices. 
think I did it on purpose subconsciously. <laughs> Green cabbage, I think I'm gonna use one fourth of a whole. Cut out this middle piece. I'm gonna just cut this up. Doesn't have to be uniform at all. Unravel the pieces as you put them in. Frying pan on. Let's get this on a high heat. Put our bacon in. And keep mixing around until the bacon start to release some of their grease as well as get crispy on top. All right, and then look how beautiful that looks. Right at that time, all of our cabbage, the saltiness from the bacon, it's going to season this cabbage. Move it around, move this cabbage around until it starts to turn translucent. We don't want it to turn mushy. We want it to still have a bite. This is optional, but if you have some dried chili peppers, it's beautiful. Just cut that in there. All right, and you start to see that it's sweating. It's translucent. Perfect time. This is exactly where we want it. Turn off the heat and just take a look at that. I want you to take a bite. Mm. You could, of course, add a little touch of salt if you want. I'm throwing some black peppers. Super simple. It's not too heavy on the seasoning. And there it is, my friends, the one-two combo. All right, my friends, let's dig in. Ooh. And again, I love it because you get that spinach already in the morning. Mm. Oh, this is so money. And guys, aren't you tempted to make this? <laughs> mm. Neighbors, this year has been ecstatic. I love seeing the videos on Instagram of your cooking, of you guys writing some crazy comments on the YouTube. And for the new year, my only wish is that we continue this adventure together. Never did I expect uh, studying finance that I would be making tengjang jjigae on the internet. Uh, but life is crazy. I think this is hilarious and I love it. And uh, let's just keep putting gas in the tank and let's just see where it goes. All right. Love you guys. And uh, don't hate on the tengjang. Thank you.